you're connecting to the entire body and promoting a healthy flow of prana or energy that runs up and down the spine. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning. Let's turn off my music. It is currently half past eight, so I got up at half six and I've just finished my workout. Today is actually a day off. Mondays I usually have off, but honestly guys, I was so lazy this weekend. I did zero work on Saturday. So today I really wanna just go into campus and have like a full day of work, like nine till five, although I'm not gonna get there for nine because it's currently half eight. I think I can get there for around 10 though, and I'm just gonna stay there until the evening. I've planned my week and planned what work to do this week on which days I've showed you guys like my planner system before but i'll show you guys again for this week but guys i am almost ready now i've just gotten dressed done my makeup straightened my hair it is like 20 past nine now so i just need to pack my bag maybe bring a scarf as well because the jumper i'm wearing today isn't that thick um this is from h&m and then i'm wearing my mum jeans also do you guys notice anything a different about me yes this bitch has her ugly natural nails pack um basically i've literally had acrylics for six months straight like constantly getting infills and new sets like i have not let my nails breathe in six months so i went to town yesterday and actually got them taken off and they're okay i mean they're a good length and so far that none of them have snapped off since yesterday which is quite good and i've just got like a base coat on them to keep try and keep them strong let me just quickly fill you guys in on this week's schedule this is how i've planned this week and by the way my planner is from clever fox i will link it in the description box um so i might be meeting up with my turkish friend for coffee or lunch um, basically I'm working on campus all day. This is the work I'm doing. I also need to ring the doctors which I might do now before I leave because they opened like half an hour ago and I just want to get through to them quickly. Um, tomorrow I'm in from 10.30 till 4.30. I've actually got content tomorrow but in between those two things I'm doing work. On Wednesday morning I'm actually going home until Sunday but I've planned what work to do each day basically. I'm going home Wednesday morning till like Sunday afternoon because um, I actually have a doctor's like a hospital appointment which has to be back in Bristol on Thursday So I have no contact hours on Wednesday So I thought I may as well just go home on Wednesday just because it'll be really nice to spend some time at home So in the back of my planner I've showed you guys this before in the back I'd like plan what work to do for that week So we've got like what week it is and then for each module I make a list of stuff to do and to like further organize it next to it I put which days I'm working on what that way I can make sure I'm like productive and getting all my tasks done so today I am doing my contemporary issues work because um it's just over two weeks now that my first deadline is coming up so I need to plan it um I've got two assignments coming up and I also want to do some more research into a master's because I just need to be more educated on it so I can make like a fully informed decision. quarter to 12 so I'm meeting my friend for lunch at 12 30 um, but basically I just spent an hour doing some seminar prep for my seminar on Friday even though I'm not going to be here for it so I'm going home I still need to do the reading like for my group and now I've moved on to my contemporary issues module so basically we attended four talks last week well I attended three and out of those four you need to pick two one to do a press release on and one to do a thought paper on so the first one is due in just over two weeks now so basically today I want to decide what talk I'm doing on what assignment and just start like planning it thinking about it doing some extra reading and stuff I'm in town 
Paris now with my friends. So we've got Sue and Izzy. We're having lunch. We both got um, curries. So we're just catching up and after this I need to go back up to the loft and carry on with work. And they're all very busy as well. So we're just catching up. It is half past two now and I've spent the last hour planning my contemporary issues assignments trying to come up with some ideas but I'm actually going to stop and switch to something else now which wasn't part of like my plan for today but I realized I need, really need to re-watch the talks that I chose to kind of refresh my mind but I realized that the only earphones I brought in are only compatible like with my phone with my iPhone they can't go into the headphone jack on my laptop which is so annoying so I've decided that I'm going to stop doing that and um, do the work that I planned for Wednesday instead, which is um, my seminar prep that I started earlier. Right guys, it is 5.30 and I'm only just leaving now. I stayed a little bit later than I anticipated, but I just really wanted to get that seminar prep done and I finally got it done. It's 10 pages of notes though, and the actual paper's 18, paper, 18 pages. So I cut it down quite a lot, but still 10 pages. Um, I didn't get on to master's research because obviously I've just put off planning my future because who really wants to think about their future but yeah i'm just really glad that i've got all that seminar prep for friday out of the way now and i don't have to think about it for the rest of the week i'm not going to be there for the actual seminar anyway but yeah i'm going to go home now and i'm going to do the most ex i'm going to have the most exciting dinner i'll tell you guys when i get home i am home now from uni it is six o'clock and oh my fucking god I'm just in the best mood ever, like I've had a productive day. Basically, I've been waiting for this for ages um, because it was announced on the internet like before today, like a week or two ago. Papa John's have come out with three vegan pizzas and they've got their Marmite and cheese scrolls, a vegan version of it. I've been looking forward to this day. In fact, over the weekend, I kind of had my cheat day, but I just, in my head, I was like, I'm not gonna go that hard because I know on Monday I'm gonna order this vegan pizza and I'm so fucking excited. Like, it's a fucking milestone. Like, it's an actual pizza delivery service. Like, yeah, I can get a vegan pizza on delivery, but delivery is notoriously expensive. You have like a minimum spend, but on sites like Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut, there are always deals. Papa John's, I find, is the best for deals and getting money off. And also, you get reward points. And I ordered with them a lot in first year, actually. I don't know why I didn't really last year. And you get like so much money off. I could order like sides for free and stuff with my points that I had collected. On Thursday, I did a bit of procrastination after a long day at uni and I went on the Topshop website and browsed through the sales and I got, I think I got five items. I got three tops and two skirts, all for 70 pounds, which when you think about Topshop, like for 70 pounds, you'd usually go in there and only buy two or three stuff, but I came out with five. So I'm hoping um, they look nice. If they don't, I need to go to town tomorrow anyway um, to pick up a prescription from Boots so I can just return them then. I'll do a mini haul of that later. Probably not a try on haul because I would have just eaten a whole fucking pizza. Or actually no, I should save some for tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll save some for tomorrow. Um, 
but yeah maybe i'll do i'll try it on for you guys tomorrow like just do a haul today and then later on in this vlog you'll see me like try it on and stuff whilst i'm waiting for that to be delivered i figured i would open up my top shop um order and show you guys Got this little cami top so let's open it up oh so this was on sale for £10, down from £29, so better than half price. This is what it looks like, it's just like a glittery, it's got like a keyhole detail. So yeah, this was only £10. Then I got another top, this is like a thin rib knitted jumper. So this was down to... 15 pounds from 25 so what it looks like i thought this would look really cute just like with black jeans or with my corduroy um skirt from zara that i wear sometimes i just really like i love stripes and i like how it went from like light to dark and i got another jumper this is like a proper knitted jumper again you can see i went for the monochrome theme this was 29 pounds and i got it for 15 pounds you can see it's not very long it's definitely a cropped jumper but i just love monochrome i love stripes and then the sleeves are like mostly black and then at the end you've got more of the white stripes so i'm so excited to wear that i got both the skirts in a 10 because i'm a 10 in their bottoms um and this was also down to 15 pounds from 39 pounds so that is a bargain this is what it looks like so it's described as a lurex stretch black skirt i thought this would be good for nights out if you can see can you see the material and then i got this corduroy skirt so this was also 15 pounds down from oh it doesn't actually say what it was down from it looks like a brighter more vibrant red on camera but it's actually like a dark kind of crimson and yeah i just thought i'd switch up and get a bit of color instead of black and it's just got like a button down detail and two pockets okay guys i'm not even being dramatic but i could actually die and go to heaven right now like i have achieved self-actualization look at this pizza please and then these are the marmite and cheese scrolls and they look fucking amazing oh, i'm so fucking excited guys i'm gonna watch ted bundy series like literally i feel so content right now okay guys let's do a taste test i considered him a friend and what led up to it our son is the best son in the world he was the very normal active boy his mom and dad mm -hmm. took him to church every sunday he wanted to be successful that shit's Bernie fucking good i'm just shook at the convenience i can now just order a papa john's whenever i want let me try a marmite and cheese scroll so he looked at me and grabbed my tape recorder and he twisted his chair right guys can confirm that that was freaking bomb i had six cheese and marmite scrolls and i had half of my large pizza i'm gonna save the other half for lunch tomorrow but i didn't know if the cheese and marmite stuff would keep so i just gave the rest to alice because she really likes marmite seriously if you're vegan this has changed the game but i'm gonna continue watching the ted bundy documentary ethan's actually joining me but i don't think he'll want to be on camera because he's feeling quite ill but yeah we're just gonna watch the ted bundy documentary if i break my lease I'm gonna have to pay almost 10k because it's double of what you pay for rent right now. And I only have like a month and a half. Left. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning. I look like a mess. I've just finished my morning workout. Did I say it's 8 30? Um, yeah, I am gonna just go wash my body real quick because I got my sweat on and, um, yeah, I will come back after I've like showered and stuff to tell you what today's plan is. Okay guys, so I'm trying on the Topshop stuff that I got. I don't know if you can really see. So I don't think these go together. Um, is that okay? It's like really dark today. 
um but i just obviously couldn't show you the top without having anything on the bottom so this is the top i'm not really sure if i like it or not what do you guys think it's a lot tighter than i thought it would be i thought like it wouldn't really show my stomach but it is and that's kind of bothering me oh my god my tripod is like fucked up um yeah it's kind of bothering me that you can see my stomach and like if i'm extra bloated then obviously i can't like really i can't wear this comfortably so i'm not sure i might return it and then this is that skirt so as you can see it's like high-waisted um this is what it looks like from the back as well um yeah i think i'm definitely keeping the skirt i think the size 10 is a good fit but this is like the sweater top that i got i really like it um yeah i just love monochrome i love stripes i think it would look really cute with like black jeans and then this is the skirt i'm not really sure about it guys like i love the idea of it i love the color i love i think the pockets are really cute and the buttons are really cute but i'm just not sure about the fit so this is a size 10 and now i'm like doubting everything and i'm like oh i should have ordered a size 8 but i checked online and they don't have the size 8 available in the exeter top shop store i'm just not really into skirts that kind of are a line like this shape i would have loved if it was just a bit more like that would look so much cuter than that in my opinion and there's just like a lot of loose fabric especially at the back okay, and then this is the other jumper and i really like it it's just like nice and loose it's cropped um but not too cropped and i just love the monochrome and like the arms and just like the fit and everything so i'm definitely keeping this so guys it is now five past ten and i need to leave in like five minutes i've just gotten dressed i'm wearing my new jumper just with some black jeans but let me show you guys my plan for today so yesterday i actually forgot to take my planner to uni and i just felt so lost without it so today is Tuesday so I have a dissertation meeting at 10 30 which is what I'm about to leave to and then I have a workshop from 3 30 till 4 30. So my contemporary issues module is lectures but we have these workshops this week where we can come and sit in groups and discuss our ideas because obviously they know that we've never done a press release or a thought paper before so they're holding these workshops so that we can all like discuss ideas and like plan how to write it and stuff so hopefully it'll be useful i'm thinking after my dissertation meeting i'll walk straight into town go to boots pick up my prescription and then go to top shop and return that sparkly gold top and the red corduroy skirt i've decided i'm returning those um so i shouldn't be in town for too long i really don't want to procrastinate because i do need to get work done today so yeah i'm gonna go from my dissertation meeting to town to pick up my prescription return some stuff walk back home have my leftover pizza for lunch and then whatever time is left between then and going to my workshop i need to spend working because i need to get work done guys like these assignments are around the corner now they're due the first one's due two weeks tomorrow right guys it is like half 11 the weather is absolutely horrendous um i've come out of my meeting it was like an hour long it was a dissertation meeting it was kind of successful like basically we came to the conclusion that we need to like I thought we were done with data collection but we need another like 10 12 people because a lot of people like dropped out of our study and i know a lot of you guys have offered like oh i'll do it but unfortunately we like agreed that it would only be exeter uni students so if you're an exeter uni student watching this and you want to take part hit me up it was good but like kind of stressful because now i've got to try and recruit more participants for this week so i've come into kiko they have a massive sale so this is the one I use. Oh, it's not on sale. But I really need one. Okay, next stop is Topshop. Let's hope I don't buy anything in the sale. Um, I need to return my stuff. Guys, is this cute? It's the only one. It's the last one. It's a size 12. I just can't buy it. It's just too big. Like, on the body, it's okay. I don't mind oversize. But you can just tell on the arms that it's too big. Which is so sad. I love it. I love faux fur and it's like aviator style. They don't have it in any other sizes. 
Okay guys, I've returned my stuff. I managed to just about leave without purchasing anything else. That coat was so dreamy, like I could cry over it. It was so nice. If they just had my size, I would have 100% gotten it, but so sad. I have already seen that coat online and they have none of the sizes online either, so I'm just gonna have to forget about it. But yeah, now I'm walking to Boots to get my prescription and then I can go home. You can probably tell I'm back in my pajamas. I'm not going back to uni this afternoon because two of the girls in my dissertation group had the same workshop that I'm supposed to have at 3.30 this morning. And I asked them if it was useful and they said it was so rubbish and that they left within like the first 10 minutes of the hour session. So I'm not bothering to go, especially because the weather is disgusting. It is tipping it down. I get a lot of questions about my lashes and my all time favorite mascara is the Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume. And then I got the Kiko 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in the number three. It was like a peachy nude. Let me show you guys actually. So one of my like YouTube friends, well, no, because she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but like she's a friend I've made through YouTube through her like um, commenting on my videos and stuff. Like we talk all the time on Instagram, Khadija. She bought this lip gloss and she said it was like the fancy lip gloss, but obviously this is a fraction of the price. It's just with the tiniest bit on. But yeah, I really liked it because it's like this pinky, peachy color for every day. And it's just really like iridescent. It's just really nice and glossy. And it smells really good. So I definitely, yeah, you can see my lips are a lot more pinky now. Definitely recommend the Kiko 3D Hydra lip glosses. They're so good and they're on sale at the moment. Also, as I mentioned earlier, for real though, guys, if you are an extra uni student and you watch me, please contact me if you wanna take part in my dissertation study. I would appreciate it so much. Just comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And if you have any like final year projects or dissertation, like anything you want me to do in return, I will do that for you. Like I'm, I will reciprocate. So yeah, please contact me if you are willing to help a girl out. Right guys, believe it or not, it is now 10 to four. Bitch, I don't know how. Um, we finished the Ted Bundy documentary. It was, all in all, I think a really good documentary, really interesting, and it really creeped me out last night. I like locked my um, bedroom door. I just felt really uneasy falling asleep. Like, you know, it's just really disturbing. It just, it really gets me down thinking all of the horrible people that I have to share this planet with, like, the fact that there are people out there who are capable of doing such horrendous things honestly like just makes me feel like I don't even want to be alive but let's just not even get that deep. So yeah today we're focusing on contemporary issues so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to re-watch the lectures which I've chosen to do my assignments about. So that is the very first thing I'm going to do to try and kind of revisit it with a fresh mind, try and think of things to write about. It is now 20 past six and I've just finished re-watching the talk that I am going to be writing about for the first deadline. It kind of helped but I kind of had the impression that I would watch it and come up with a bunch of ideas but I still only have a few potential things I could write about so I'm kind of worried. I feel like maybe everyone in my course right now is just like what the fuck do we do because we've never done something like this before. So I'm stopping work. I'm gonna have dinner, go to bed early. I might do some master's research. I think I've decided I'm just gonna go for it, guys. I can't think of any other, I can't, I've gone through other options. I can't think of any other career where I will be as happy as if I'm helping people in terms of psychology. Like I thought of like a social worker kind of thing because I just wanna do something where I help people and I work with people. And so I was considering social work. Um, but I just don't think I'll enjoy it as much as psychology. It was kind of like, oh, it's easier to get into social work, but it's like, you shouldn't do things just because it's easier. Like you should chase your dreams and shit. So, um, I think I'm just going to go for it and try and do a master's. So I need to like research 
applying for that but that's the end of this vlog guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to smash the thumbs up down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye